And Stacey, East 5th Street here in Carroll, definitely the place to be. Right now, people are walking back and forth down East 5th Street. There's a stage on this side. There's food and activities uh, behind us. It's just a place for everyone who tells us they are happy to be here, truly, because Carroll, they say, really didn't stop at anything to make them feel welcome. Take a listen. This is Rag Bride Day 2 in Carroll, where by mid-afternoon Monday, the streets look like this. Thousands of people shopping, eating, and finally, we're camping inside. Taking a break after biking more than 55 miles from Storm Lake. A nice short ride compared to yesterday, which was uh, a little warm at the end yesterday. Many people riding the route tell us this stretch was definitely easier than the first. What made it different? I mean, once you stop, that's when you really, you're like, huh. The heat, but people arriving in Carroll after a few hours say it's not really noticeable when you're on the route. The heat when you're riding, you don't really even notice it because the wind as you're riding. But the rag ride team in Carroll was prepared. Oh, Ready to cool people off by water slide or opening businesses and city buildings to beat the heat. It's pretty good. Yep. Can't complain. Thanks for hosting us. Jill Moeller is a part of Team Thompson, made up of cousins, siblings, and uncles. Three uncles weren't getting any younger, and so we figured, <laughs> hey, we better do it with them. Which brings them to Carol. The whole city ready with a stage set for bands and a variety of Iowa vendors. Like Shane Hillman and the Chad's Pizza team. Uh, everybody's been so friendly, a little exhausted, so a little hot from what's going on out here, but uh, they're all stopping, checking out what we're doing for pizza. Fifth Street and Carroll packed from mid-afternoon until the night. There's a big crowd out there, much bigger than it has been in all the other years. Carroll's stop is a favorite for some so far, but the ride is only just beginning. Day two ends with riders preparing for the journey to Ames. And the next stop is Ames, so we know more riders are expected to come out to take that trip from here to Carroll to Ames tomorrow. I spoke with a few riders, one who tells me she's hoping to get out of here by 5.30. Another man tells me the latest he wants to be out of here is 7.30. For now, live in Carroll, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.